The Hidden Genes of Germany, a 10 year DNA story. Today, we embark on a fascinating journey through 10,000 years of German history, exploring the hidden genes that have shaped its people. Using the latest scientific advancements in DNA analysis, we will delve into the genetic melting pot that is Germany. The Black Death, a cataclysmic event that swept across Europe in the 14th century, decimated populations, and left an enduring mark on human history. In Germany, as in other parts of Europe, the plague reshaped the genetic landscape. Those who survived the plague possessed a unique resilience, a genetic advantage that allowed them to withstand the onslaught of the disease. These survivors passed on their resilient genes to their descendants, subtly altering the genetic makeup of the German population. Did it select for specific traits, making future generations more or less susceptible to certain diseases? These are questions that continue to intrigue scientists. Long before the arrival of the Romans, before the rise of the Celts, even before the first farmers tilled the soil, the land that would become Germany was home to bands of hunter-gatherers. These were the Western hunter-gatherers, nomadic people who roamed the forests and plains, their lives intimately intertwined with the rhythms of nature. Their genetic legacy, though ancient, is still detectable in the DNA of modern Germans. Analysis reveals traces of their ancestry, a testament to their enduring presence in the region. Their tools, crafted from stone, bone, and wood, were a testament to their ingenuity and resourcefulness. As the last ice age receded, a profound transformation swept across Europe. From the fertile crescent of the Near East, a new wave of humans arrived, bringing with them the revolutionary practice of agriculture. These were the Anatolian farmers, and their arrival in Germany around 7,000 years ago marked a turning point in the genetic and cultural history of the region. As they settled in the fertile valleys of what is now Germany, these Anatolian farmers began to clear the land, plant their crops, and establish permanent settlements. The Anatolian farmers, with their distinctive genetic markers, intermingled with the existing hunter-gatherer groups, their genes weaving themselves into the fabric of the German population. Chapter 4. Yamnaya Culture Around 5,000 years ago, a new force arrived on the European stage, the Yamnaya people. Hailing from the vast steppes of what is now Ukraine and Russia, these pastoral nomads brought with them a distinctive culture and a genetic legacy that would leave a lasting impact on the German population. The Yamnaya were a formidable presence, their mastery of horses and wheeled vehicles giving them an advantage in both warfare and trade. Genetic studies have revealed that the Yamnaya contributed significantly to the ancestry of modern Europeans, including the German population. Their arrival marked a major influx of genetic diversity, leaving an indelible mark on the genetic landscape of the region. Chapter 5. The Bell Beaker Culture Emerging from the mists of prehistory, the Bell Beaker culture, named for their distinctive pottery, spread across Europe around 4,800 years ago. Recent genetic studies suggest that the Bell Beaker people were not a monolithic group, but rather a cultural phenomenon that emerged from the interactions of different populations. In Germany, the arrival of Bell Beaker culture coincides with a significant genetic shift, suggesting an influx of new people and ideas. Their genetic legacy, intertwined with those who came before, adds another layer to the complex tapestry of German ancestry. Chapter 6. Celts the Celts, a diverse group of Iron Age people, emerged as a prominent force in Europe around 2,500 years ago. Known for their intricate art, complex social structures, and fierce warriors, they left an indelible mark on the cultural and genetic landscape of Germany. The Celts were not a homogenous group but rather a collection of tribes with shared linguistic and cultural traits. Genetic studies have revealed that the Celts, like those who came before them, intermingled with the existing populations. Their legacy lives on not only in the genes of modern Germans, but also in place names, folklore, and traditions. 
Chapter 7, Romans The Roman Empire, a force that shaped the destiny of Europe for centuries, clashed with the Germanic tribes along the Rhine and Danube rivers for generations. This clash of civilizations left an indelible mark on the cultural and genetic landscape of Germany. Roman military outposts and settlements sprung up along the frontier becoming centers of trade and cultural exchange. Genetic studies have revealed traces of Roman ancestry in the modern German population, particularly in regions that were once part of the Roman Empire. Though the exact extent of their genetic impact is still being unraveled, their legacy is undeniable. Chapter 8 The Rise of the Franks From the chaos that followed the fall of the Roman Empire, a new power emerged in Western Europe, the Franks. This Germanic people, under the leadership of charismatic kings like Clovis and Charlemagne, forged a vast empire that would lay the foundation for modern France and Germany. Under Clovis, they converted to Christianity, a pivotal moment that aligned them with the papacy and cemented their dominance in Western Europe. The Franks, through their conquests and alliances, spread their influence far and wide. Their genetic impact on the German population is significant, particularly in the west and southwest of the country. Chapter 9. The Slavic Migrations As the first millennium AD unfolded, a new wave of migration swept across Europe, the movement of Slavic peoples. Originating from Eastern Europe, these groups, speaking closely related languages and sharing cultural practices, settled across vast swaths of land, including parts of what is now Eastern Germany. The Slavic migrations had a profound impact on the cultural and linguistic landscape of Eastern Europe. Genetic studies have revealed a clear distinction between the genetic makeup of Western and Eastern Germans, reflecting these historical migrations. The Slavic influence in Eastern Germany is visible not only in the genes of its people, but also in place names, cuisine, and cultural traditions. Chapter 10. Norse Influence in Northern Germany The Vikings, fierce seafarers from Scandinavia, are renowned for their raids and conquests across Europe. But their impact on Northern Germany, particularly during the Viking Age, from the 8th to the 11th centuries AD, extended beyond plunder, leaving a lasting genetic and cultural legacy. The Vikings established trading posts and settlements along the coasts and rivers of northern Germany, some of which, like Hedeby, grew into thriving centers of commerce. Genetic studies have revealed a distinct Norse genetic signature in the region, reflecting the historical presence of these seafaring people. Their legacy lives on not only in the genes of modern northern Germans but also in place names, folklore and traditions. Chapter 11. Regional Variation The genetic landscape of Germany, shaped by millennia of migrations, conquests and cultural exchange, is not uniform. Instead, it exhibits fascinating regional variations, reflecting the diverse historical experiences of different parts of the country. In the West, the legacy of the Franks, Celts and Romans is most prominent. In the East, the influence of Slavic migrations is readily apparent. Understanding these regional variations enriches our understanding of German history and identity. Chapter 12. City Names and Surnames The clues to Germany's genetic past are not confined to laboratories and DNA databases. They are etched into the very fabric of the land, hidden in plain sight in the names of its cities and the surnames of its people. Consider the city of Cologne, its name derived from the Roman Colonia Claudia Ara Agrippinensium, a testament to its Roman origins. Surnames too offer fascinating glimpses into the past. Occupational surnames like Schmidt, meaning Smith and Mueller meaning Miller, reflect the traditional occupations of ancestors. These linguistic relics passed down through generations offer a unique window into the past, connecting modern Germans with their ancestors. Gap 3S Chapter 14, Modern Genetic Studies and Their Implications In recent decades, the field of genetic research has made groundbreaking advancements, offering unprecedented insights into the genetic tapestry of modern Germans. 
With the advent of DNA sequencing technologies, scientists can now trace lineage and migration patterns with remarkable accuracy. Studies have revealed surprising connections, such as the genetic links between contemporary Germans and ancient populations like the Yamnaya and Celts. Moreover, these findings have profound implications for understanding genetic diseases and personalized medicine. By studying the genetic variations passed down through generations, researchers can identify predispositions to certain health conditions, paving the way for targeted treatments and preventative measures. The journey of our genes is not just a story of the past, it is a living narrative that continues to evolve shaping our present and future, and Outro, a legacy, written in genes. As we conclude our journey through the genetic history of Germany, it's important to remember that the story doesn't end here. If you've enjoyed this exploration of history and genetics, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more fascinating content. Thank you for joining me on this incredible journey through time and genetics.